Ruben once again with your lots of things. If you liked any of my past videos, please like or comment on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, also, consider visiting our SoundCloud, visiting our Facebook, visiting our blog, where we add great information there on a regular basis. Check that out. Check, check those channels out. Also, if this information has helped you in any way, please consider donating, you know, $5.00 a cup of coffee whatever you can if this information has helped you um it can go a long way and if you you donate a certain amount you get certain perks so the information is down below today i want to talk about how you create your reality you create your reality we talked about this how you are in charge you are the head honcho god the entity that created you and everything else gave you that power. You know, if you look at the biblical scripture, it talks about how God created man in its image. It created you in his image. Another verse says, the kingdom of heaven is within you. You were creating God's image. The kingdom of heaven is within you. God breathed his life into you. His life into you. Another biblical scripture. And as you know, I was born and raised on in Christianity, right? My parents are Catholic, but Christianity was a religion. That's this who believe. So that is why I comment this. If I was born in Hinduism or, or Buddhism, whatever. I would have said it in that terms, you know, because I would be more familiar with that. But nearly all religious texts say the same thing. So I would be just saying it different, but exactly the same. Uh, so don't get offended. If you get offended, I mean, just go to another video. But this is not to offend you. This is just to give you some data, some backup data that you can, you know, take and see that this information is not new. So, you're creating God's image. God breathed his life into you. You are not, I'm not saying you're God Almighty. But you are God Almighty. I mean, you're part of him. You come from him. You know? You cannot be destroyed or anything. Think about this. Uh, there's a lot of, of, you know, the whole idea of hell. Think, think about that idea. There's something I've always wondered. Think about, like, you know, how, how in Christianity they say hell. Like, if, if, if you're uh, such bad of a sinner, you, you will go to hell, right? And you will go, be in hell for eternity. It will be like an eternal damnation. That's what they say, right? But think about this. Look how powerful you are. You're part of God. Think about it. You're part of God. You cannot be destroyed. Not even hell would destroy you. You'll just be in eternal damnation. But you cannot even be destroyed. You know? Think about it. Wouldn't it just be easier for God to just get rid of you? But how can he get rid of his, him, his own self? You see? That if you do go to hell, not even hell can destroy you. You'll be in there for eternity. But you will never be destroyed. Think about that. Think about how powerful God made you. And you're so precious, he will never destroy his own creation. He can't. It's part of him. God breathed his life into you. You were created in God's image. Think about that. <clears throat> so, saying that, you are powerful. You have dominion over, you know, every single thing that you want in life. I'm not saying people. Because each person is just like you. They have their own right and choice to what they want to experience. And no matter what is thrown against them, they can overcome it if their emotions are right. Because their emotions are 
what you're, you're calling forward. You create your whole reality. If you have a challenge that arises, trust me, you created your, that, re, that, that challenge. It's either going to, you know, break you and then make you, or it's, it, it will pretend to break you, but it's really not breaking you, it's really making you. It just depends how your thinking and your emotion is at, them, at that moment. That is why this inf- getting this information on a regular basis is real important. So you create your reality. You're powerful. Law of attraction. Everything around you. Whatever happened to you, happens to you today, whether good or bad, you created it. And that's the hardest thing for people to understand. But once you get to this information more and more, you'll begin to understand because you experience it in your own life. What I'm telling you. And how do you create that, that reality, right? Well, think about this. Every single thought that you have, every single emotion that you have, that's what life is based on, right? Thoughts and emotions. So whatever those thoughts or emotions are, I want you to imagine that it's a vibration. It's, it's more like an energy, like a gas energy that you put out. And that energy reaches the whole universe. It reaches the whole universe. Till its last drop. In that instant. And from there, the universe will give you that. So let's say you have thoughts and you have feelings of joy. You have feelings of feeling lucky. You feel lucky. You're like, wow, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. I feel I could go to the casino right now and I could hit a jackpot. Or I could feel, you know, I feel that something good is about to happen. You feel this great positive emotion. Well, that thought, that emotion is a vibration or an energy or a gaseous, uh, sort of a gas like that is put out all throughout the universe. And you're basically speaking to, you know, you're basically speaking, is like speaking to God, you know, asking for the prayer. I want this. You know, in the Bible it says you have not because you ask not. Think about that. Think, I mean, this is in, 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 in black and white. I mean, in, in this ancient text we call the Bible, right? So you put that out. All that has, well, that has to come back to you. And nobody else is thinking for you. Nobody else can think for you. Nobody else is feeling emotions for you. Nobody can feel emotion. I may, you may be my best friend and I may wish the best of the world for you. And you may be in a, you know, horrible challenge. Your challenge right now may be strong. You're the only one that can handle that challenge. You're the only one that can overcome that challenge. I cannot do it for you. As much as I could feel, as much as I could think, as much as I could pray, I could, I could, you know, you know, be 24-7 in a church just praying for you, I still cannot do that. I do it for myself. I can do it for myself, but I can't do it for you because it won't work. I cannot think for you. I cannot pledge, pledge to God for you, you know, to the universe for you. Only you can. That is why you and only you create your own reality. Nobody else does. See, that's a big challenge people have. They believe they're like puppets, that they're they're being moved around and and you know to whatever other direction. They feel they're they're like a ship without a rudder. Like they're just out there, just wherever the current takes them. No, no. You're in charge. You have all the power to get yourself out of any challenge and to make any dream come true. You have that power. This is not new for this. Go back. Ancient text. I mean, you have that power. And that power, you create it through your thoughts, through your emotions. So that's why feeling good is always so important for your benefit. Feeling good. So every remember, every single emotion, every single thought 
that you have. It's a vibration. It's an energy put out on, on into the universe or put out on to God. And the universe or God will get, will bring that back to you, will give it to you. It's like your you, petition, you're asking for it. It has to come back. It's a law. So it's like the law of gravity. Think about that. God made the, so the universe could give it to you or God could give it to you, whatever belief you have. It's the law. It's, it's like the law of gravity. I mean, I don't care how much belief you have or how powerful you, you know, or, 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 or you know, how flexible or whatever you are. If you go on top of a roof and you step out of that roof, you are going to fall to the ground because it's a law. It's the law of gravity. Right. The same thing here. This is the law of attraction. It's a law. It's, it was created by God to benefit you. You know, and then in the biblical scripture talks about how angels are there to assist you, like they're there for you to assist you. Specifically in the New Testament, it talks about in the Old Testament as well, but it talks about how the angels are there to assist you. Right? There's this this whole um, uh, this whole talk about angels and how angels are are like there are millions and billions of them in, in heaven and how they're there to assist you and it's specifically in capitalism you know they they believe that you have an angel guarding you your your guardian angel right your guardian angel is there to to assist you whatever you need the angels are there to assist you well, that could be true think about it same thing here that's all we're talking you're you get to ask for whatever you want. Remember, you ask, you have not because you ask not. That's a biblical scripture. The way you ask is by mouth. You can ask by mouth. But mainly it's your thoughts and it's your emotions, your feelings. That is what goes out. It's not the words. It's the feeling. It's the intention that goes out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, see you guys next time.